What you say? All right, what's good, y'all? I'm out here with my with my mail, taking them for a stroll, man. Getting them out the yard. He uh starting to get up there in age, man. A couple people want something off of him, but you know that's why I kind of don't like showing them, showing them uh as they growing up and shit like that, because you know. I don't want to be rushed to, you know, do anything with them. I like to see how they are. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I need to get me a blue collar and leash set up for him. I, I don't know why I like I like the color blue with these Bolio dogs and the red with my red boy Jocko dogs. But uh, he 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 develop, developing real good, looking good. Starting to mature a little bit. You got big on me, head in widened out a little bit teeth nice size canines on them and uh i'm liking them uh what you say what you say what you say what you say and uh i think he gonna add that pressure he gonna bring pressure so um let's see what else i was gonna say uh uh you know i like my main thing is to make sure to see something out of them, you know what I'm saying? Some people be worrying about how old, you know, it is before I breed them and this and that, talking shit and that. But, you know, at the end of the day, when I breed them normally, you know, high percent chance I didn't see something out of them. I like, you know, what I saw and shit like that. So, you know, so that's my main thing, you know, see stuff out of them, see what you're working with. See what kind of dog you got and, and, and go from there. You see what I'm saying? Then you know how you, you might want to go with, with breeding and shit like that. You know, so that's all it is to it, man. You know, all that rah-rah shit people be talking, man. It be pure bullshit, man. And you know, one thing about people, when they talk shit, they'll be the same ones doing, they'll do the same shit they, they uh, talk shit about you about. That's just how it go. You know, because you, you don't see what they doing in the dark, but they see what you're doing. So it is what it is. And, uh, but yeah, this little male, man, I'm liking him so far. He's straight. Watch. Watch. Want to get him. See, I like, I like when you walk them and they, uh, they ain't, you know, I hate when they come, you walk them and they steady coming by you, you know, like staying by you and shit. I like when they take the lead and when they uh, keep their eyes and ears open for the sur their surroundings, looking around. You know what I'm saying? Really looking, trying to see if something is available, something they might could grab, or something, you know, potential uh, potential intruder on us. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I look for. I like for him to be like that. He, he kind of... He's not quite as, you know, intense, you know, when I walk him. Not quite as intense as far as how hard he looking. Like he looking, but I can tell he ain't, he ain't, you know, dead ass yet. So I just got to keep working with him. But he good. He gonna, I think he going to do his thing, man. You know, so uh, that's all, man. Just raising up some of these dogs, getting them into the right hands and putting some of them in, in uh, workout plans. You know, that's all it is. You know, just to see how good they gonna come out of it. Him, he a little overweight. I got him a little thick right now. But he been chilling. He ain't been, I ain't been walking him a whole lot, so. So uh, I'm trying to get him, start walking him more. And uh, working him more and stuff like that. So he can start uh, losing some of that weight. I just keep his dog food the same and just work him more and then some of that weight come down. What you say? But yeah, this some of the bolio blood. This blood here a little different than what everybody be using. Ain't really no Amboss. Ain't no Hollinsworth, Red Pirate, none of that. This old school Patrick's Homo blood, you know? So, uh, I wanna say shout out to his uh, breeder, you know? I ain't putting people's name out there, but shout out to him. And uh, and I think he he'll be good to add him to the pot, you know.
gumbo, mix them up with some of the Red Boy Jocko I've got. You know, everybody know the, it works with the uh, Red Boy Jocko and Bolio cross well together. So, so uh, yeah, I'm just, hey, just letting this dog age on up. Well, he bred, man, he can pretty much breed to every single bitch I have, you know, because he's not related to none of them, like, closely at all. So, I mean, so everything he's bred to is basically, everything on my yard he's bred to is basically be an outcross for him. So, you know, that's very much needed on my yard, him along with a few others. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just like uh, yeah, the Jeep bitch, a couple people, they, be want, they want some dogs off of her like a motherfucker, but things change, so I ain't gonna be selling no puppies off of her or, you know, breeding her how I was gonna do, so things change. Anyways, man, I hope everybody good out there. See, I don't like this shit here. You see how he keep, he damn near, he knocked me down at the house. He stopped, but see, he doing it now. I don't really like this. See, I, I can't even walk. Instead of him just walking, he... Right up, all up on me. I don't like that. I remember I was walking my dogs one time. This guy came up and told me as I was walking, he told me, uh, he said, hey man, is that you letting that dog walk you? That's not how you should let us walk your dog, man. We gotta do better than that, blah, blah. I'm sitting there laughing at the dude. I'm like, bro, do your thing, man, whatever. I'm letting him talk. I'm like, when he left, I say, all right, bye. You know, I don't like, see these bulldogs, they take, they take charge. See what I'm saying? I like for them to be pulling in front of me, shit like that. So, so uh, this dog here, he like to stay by my side, right next to me, which it, it, ain't nothing wrong with that. It's just not my personal preference. It's not what I, it's not what I, uh, it's not like, you know, what I enjoy, you know? So, what you say? I'm hoping something catches eye like a cat, cat or a dog, something catches eye soon. And uh, you get the puller, squirrel, anything, just to get him from up under my fucking feet so he stop hitting me. But anyways, man, I got a couple of bitches, bro. I'm waiting to drop soon. One is one of these bitches. Uh, she, she ain't dropped yet, bro. I mean, she, she like fucking five days past. And every time I look out the door, see if she in the back hiding. She up front looking at me, wagging her down. I said, damn, hoping she drops soon. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, so I got a few bitches, heavy red boy Jocko Bree. But uh, made a couple, couple big moves past shit, really. I mean, every month or two I do something, but it's gonna be a lot of big things coming soon with the dogs, you know, not talking about shoes and then Really, that's part of it, but um, but yeah, uh, but yeah, man. So it's funny how this YouTube thing is, man. It's like I was dropping videos after videos and shit like that, and I got super. I started getting comfortable doing them, and now it's starting to feel like. Like, I'm uncomfortable again because I don't be posting that much. You know, I kind of I kind of got tired of talking, man, because I seen a few things happen to me, jinx and shit, talking on these damn videos. Like, for instance, that red boy bitch. You know, tight red boy bitch. I, I, I wanted to keep her. You know, I bought her. Next thing you know, she wind up dead, you know? And I had made that damn video talking about, oh, one of the tightest boomer bitches and blah, blah, blah. And then she died on me. And y'all, excuse my voice, I'm trying not to, come on, come on. I'm trying not to talk too loud, because I know it's kind of weird people look out, see hollering and screaming on the radio, I mean on the uh, video. So yeah, so yeah, a couple of things I've done that uh, Jinx, doing all the goddamn talking on the videos, and the next thing you know, the shit don't go through. So I stopped speaking, you know, stopped talking, you know, so much talk on certain things. I'd rather just let them be. Because, you know, before I didn't make videos, shit was going down, you know, I wasn't really putting that energy out there. You know, when you're on these videos, you got 20 some thousand people listening or pop potentially watching the video, listening, whatever, all around. You never know what kind of energy is working against you wanting to see, wanting that to not go through. 
you know, so. So, uh, so yeah, so I ain't been trying to put everything on these damn videos, man. Can you take the lead, boy? Damn, you behind me. Like a little, you know. Yeah. So I'm gonna get my other mail after this, and I ain't gonna have to be worrying about hitting, hit, hitting my knee against his damn head. See, I'm stepping on. You don't notice I'm stepping on you. But, but yeah, man, I want to say shout out to everybody who subscribed, who came through, and uh, rock with us. Um, I just wanted to show this mail. A lot of people be, well, a few times people ask uh, about this mail, so put them up. You know what I'm saying? Let them see him. You know, he's not the best walker to me. I don't like walking. I don't like how he walk. He like to grip. He like to stay right beside you, which is fine. It's fine. Some people like dogs like that, but I like mine to take leads. But uh, he really just getting getting back in the swing of things. He kind of looking around, you know. He looking at the trash, looking at everything, trying to, you know, get acquainted with just being out and about because he's been chilling for a little bit. So, but he getting of age, so. It's that time, man. I gotta, I gotta really put some put some energy into him, talking to him, getting acquainted with things, getting him comfortable with everything. So that way, you know, uh, down the line, should I bring him around people and stuff, he's not acting funny and shit, just cause there's some people around, you know, socializing them, basically. What's up? Yeah. So. Boy, well, man, there usually be cats everywhere out here. I don't see no cats. Oh, no, I lied. There's no one. He ain't going to see it. He's too busy worrying about me. Let's see. I don't want to go up in people's yard, though. Cat right there. Yeah, but, uh, he, yeah, he too busy trying to knock me down. Damn. But, yeah, man, this is the good old bolio blood, man. You know, a lot of people like this blood. Shit, they be wanting me bolio blood for me more than Red Boy Jocko. Shit, that's, it's, it's, it's hard for me to fulfill that. Best you gonna get for me is 50% coming off of this mail right here. You know, should everything go as planned? Should uh, he continue on the path? The only thing I don't like, all right, there he go. He walk a little better, but I just want him to, I want him to come out of that shell a little bit more. You know, and really just, you know, charge, just, you know what I'm saying? Be, a little more straightforward on our walks, you know, like he's trying to do right now. So all I gotta do is pretty much probably just walk him every day. That shit will clear up. He'll start being more comfortable. He'll start worrying about being right next to me and shit. You know. So I hope everybody taking care of their dogs. Y'all doing good, man. I done came into a couple of encounters, dog with the job and bullshit and this and that and the other, so I had to make a move on work. Watch him, you hear that? Watch him, there you go, there you go. Watch him, watch him, there you go. Watch him, something after us. Just to let y'all know, I don't uh, promote, condone, breed, participate, none of that in dog fighting. When I say watch him, it's just simply to put them on alert. To, to, to be aware of our surroundings. So, you know, those key words, he get used to them. He know that when I tell him that, he need to start looking. And that's what he doing. See, he looking all over. Watch him. Watch him. When we gonna walk, they gonna bark. That's why sometimes I like taking them spots where I know they gonna hear some bark. Watch him. Watch him. You want your dog alert, man. Watch. Yeah, see, he came came alive. He heard that dog. He come alive. So, and that's what you want out your bulldog. You want him to come alive when he when, they, when it's time. Cause hey, I ain't gonna lie. You know, I didn't been in the hood. You know, this ain't where I'm at. Now this ain't the hood. When you in the hood, man, and it really anywhere, for real, it don't have to be the hood. But anything can pop up on you. You see, what I'm saying rock wild. I remember it was one spot. We'll walk our dog. Oh, I'll walk fucking rock while it come up on you man you want something that's gonna potentially protect you should it need to see what i'm saying like again i don't promote 
dog fighting or anything of that nature but i do want to promote promote uh protection you see what i'm saying and so uh i want protection against against uh the animals i mean against us you know what i'm saying against people so you know god forbid something run up on you and uh and, 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 and your fucking dog take off and you get mauled by the, somebody Rockwall or German Shepherd, you know. You know what I'm saying? So you want a dog that's gonna stand by you, man. Like that old movie, uh, Old Yellow. That was my favorite movie growing up. But man, the, uh, the, uh, the German Shepherd in that movie, Old Yellow, man, he, he saved the family from, uh, from a wolf and got rabies from doing it. You know, that's what you want. You want some shit that's gonna, that's gonna put they self in jeopardy for you. That's the dogs you wanna feed. See what I'm saying? So, that's all that is. Matter of fact, where we going now, it's a German, it's a big ass German Shepherd over there, but I don't know where he at right now, cause he didn't bark when we walked past. But, uh. But yeah, so I'm just rocking with y'all. Time for me to get on in, man. He did bump my, my knee a thousand times. But anyways, man, y'all, if you haven't subscribed already, man, like subscribe to the video, like the video. Let me know what you think about these dogs that grip your leg. I know some I know that's a sign, good bonding, you know, the dogs stay by you by your side, shit like that, but you know, I like mine to pull. So what you think? How y'all been doing? How y'all been faring out with the dogs? Man, how some of them pups is that I put out, that we've been putting out over the last couple months to a, to a year, you know? How some of them turning out for you? Um, what else? What else I can touch on? And uh, how some of y'all making out during this? Uh, well, I guess we, I don't know if we think the pandemic's slowing down. Um, how some of y'all making out? But anyways, man, y'all be blessed. Hopefully I get up on here soon when my uh, Jip, Jip come in. And uh, maybe if all goes well in six months to a year, this dog will be, uh, this dog will be, a, be uh, to me, breedable. You know, and the key word is to me, you know, it's all up to you. You gotta remember, man, this, it's the dog game, but at the same time, it's your program, so you run it how you want. If you want to wait till all your dogs turn five years old before you breed them, you do that. I know some. I know a few guys. They wait till their dog was fucking eight years old before they bred them, and they died and have no, no males off of them. When they, you know, so that's on you. If you want to wait till, you, that's on them. But you know, one thing about the younger males, year and a half, two, three. That's when they shooting out the seam in the best. You see what I'm saying? I mean, they, they, they shit releasing in them bitches. Damn, that's a big ass damn centipede. God damn. Man, I'm by the woods right now. Yeah. They, uh, they release, they releasing in them bitches, man. You know, matter of fact, when I bred, let me see, 14, 15, I bred a little yellow and he's about two years old. No, it was actually a year and a half, his first litter. So many good, you know, some bad ass dogs came out of that. And a few others, man, they was young, you know? I mean, he wasn't that old, he was pretty young. But I like what I saw. He was a bulldog, and you know, he was shooting out good semen. Everything was taken, shit like that, you know? So, you know, like the old guys do, man. Old guys, when they get older and they, they, they don't have no, no females, man, they not looking for no old ass, I ain't gonna say bitch, but I'm gonna say, for the sake of this video, female. They're not looking for no old ass female. They're gonna go get them a young. <laughs> you know what I was gonna say? They're gonna get them a young female. See what I'm saying? Fresh female, fresh meat. They ain't going for that old shit washed up and all that. They gonna want a woman that's young. See what I'm saying? And, 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 and fresh. And so, you know, and that's just how it be, man. So, anyways, to each his own. Yeah, he about to. God damn, boy. God damn. But anyways, man, y'all boys be blessed, man. Y'all be blessed. Watch him. Watch him. Let's see something. Watch him. See, he looking now. Watch him.
Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. See, I, it's key to say that when you when you hear, when you see a cat, this this is gonna increase their prey drive and kind of just give them a cold word to know when when they look. Watch, watch them. To know when to look for stuff. You know when you tell when you telling them to look for stuff. So the key is when you see a cat, see a rat, see a anything, just you know that they can get to. You know I don't do it with humans, so like if they see something, you just talk, tell them, watch them. You know, it's so like dog, anything, cat anything you know so shit i got a male one of my males man motherfucking you know I, I told him watch him damn frog popped in his area he tried to get the frog but anyways man it's the bolio blood you know all goes well this will be a part of the program and uh and uh got a few people damn they got a little waiting list on him you know i like to add some of these other blood into my program really really just to help my jeep blood but it helps them too because they cross not jeep blood red boy chaco because they get to cross into tight blood and to red boy chaco and it helps me because i get to i get to you know do different readings and shit like that so i'm gonna be making doing some different shit in the future you know implementing this bolio jeep shit like that so anyways man y'all boys be easy you know it's red boy jaco for life swamp gang you know, authentic pit bulls, ready or not, here we come. Anyways, be blessed. Stay up. One.